Hey guys, welcome back to the Conservative Patriot. My name's Keith. Hope you guys are doing well today. Hey, um, did you guys see happen to see the Ricky Gervais opening monologue for uh, the Golden Globes? I am. Uh, I kind of boycotted, um, or have been boycotting. Not really boycotting, but I never really watched um, celebrity award shows other than the Grammys because I really like music. Um, and and on the Grammys, sometimes they'll have like new and emerging artists kind of on like a second stage and um they'll play them kind of really briefly right before a commercial or they'll there they will open up for um a major act and you'll be like oh you know those guys are really good or that band's really good and uh, then you can check them out but i haven't watched the grammys for probably i'm gonna say two years maybe two or three years um it just seems that you know, just like other like acting celebrities, you know, any other Hollywood celebrities, it seems like more and more that these musicians are getting up on stage and they're becoming, you know, more political. And I know they've been political, but use it in your music. Just, just you know, your lyrics are your voice. Um, do that. Don't get up on stage and preach to me um, about how. I should feel based on your lack of knowledge or understanding about anything in the world other than music. So just like Ricky Gervais said, you know, come up here and get your little award and then just screw off. So I'm going to play that clip for you guys right now and um, let me know what you guys think. Take a look at this. I think it's awesome. If you do win an award tonight, don't use it as a, a platform to make a political speech, right? You're in no position to lecture the public about anything. You know nothing about the real world. Most of you spent less time in school than Greta Thunberg. So, if you win, right, come up, accept your little award, thank your agent and your God. And so, yeah, I mean, th what, that was really cool, wasn't it? I mean, th the balls that this guy had, and when I first saw it, I was like, is this scripted? Is this fake? I, I don't understand how NBC is letting him get away with this. And then maybe like a minute into it, I was like, yeah, I don't think they knew he was coming, going to come out here and do this. And the reaction of uh, some of those celebrities' faces who were like, oh, oh my, I can't believe he's saying this. Yet they have the audacity to get up on stage and preach their bullshit to the rest of the world. I'm like, really? Just shut up, get your award. And fuck off, just like you said. <laughs> I, think, I think it's awesome. So um, let me know what you guys think in the comments about what Ricky Gervais did. Uh, I, I really, I really didn't really have any um, uh, background on Ricky Gervais. Um, I've only seen him a few times, uh, and his comedy has been always pretty brash. So it didn't, it didn't surprise me that he was the way he was. You know, the it it, it did surprise. It surprised me that. A celebrity was bashing celebrities the way he did it, and um, maybe that he's just sick of it, you know. And and he, I don't know if he's an American citizen or he's, um, you know, just kind of you know a celebrity that lives in the United States from England. I don't know if he's got uh, become a naturalized citizen or not, but um, I think it was it was awesome to finally hear a celebrity putting other celebrities in their place, you know, just, you know, I think he said at one point, um, you know, you, you only live once and there's no sequel. So don't take yourself too seriously. Something like that. I, that was, that was great. Uh, you know, the fact that there's no sequel, that sucks. But, um, yeah, I mean, come on guys, don't get up on stage and, and preach to the world about, um, political situations or, um, any other cause that you, you don't know about. You're emotional. Don't let your emotions run your mouth. And uh, I think that's what happens a lot of the times. But, you know, I wanted to see what you guys thought about that. I thought it was uh, poignant, and I thought it was hilarious, and I'm glad that he did it, and I'm glad that NBC had the balls to just let him do it and, and uh, continue on... Uh, uh, you know, with his monologue. So, uh, anyways, do me a favor. If you like the content of my videos, hit that subscribe button. If you are a subscriber, please make sure you're still subscribed. And if you want to get notified about future videos, do me a favor, hit that 
bell icon, and uh, you'll get notified when I put out a new video. And always remember, stay on the right side. Have a great day, everybody. Talk to you soon.